Oh, it's you. Mmm, that's fantastic. Are you okay? Go away. No, I want you. But you'll get angry if you're here. So you gotta go. You know I'll do what you want. Okay. I... I love you so much. Did you know that love hurts? Are you gonna hurt me now? Cause you should. Lady, you got darkness on the brain. I, I think I can help you if I can get the lights on in here. You can't turn the power back on. It's not allowed. You said. So, where shouldn't I go so I don't turn the power back on? Accidentally. It's... The big building on the other side of the drive-in, but it's locked. Where's the key? Just so that I know to avoid it. It's... it's on the wall next to the cash register. But you can't. You can't. Don't be bad. Hey, no problem. I'm just gonna go do some other stuff. Scout's honor. Mmm... <laughs> Just try to stay calm. I I've seen this kind of thing before. I think you're gonna be okay. Why did I... Why is it so hard to think? You've been touched by darkness. It's... I'm hoping it's not permanent. Remember when you were here before? And you kissed me? And then everything got all dark? That was the best. And we're back with old gods of Asgard and their manager, Barry Wheeler. Guys, you're on your comeback tour, and you're playing a lot of your classic material. But you've also got a new single out, right? How'd that come about? Was it hard to go back into the studio after such a long time? Are you kidding me? They were chomping at the bit. They were just itching to stretch those creative muscles. Now, it had been a while because, uh, you know, they, uh, they spent a lot of time in, uh... Retirement! We were retired. We were? Yeah. No, 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 no. We were at the lodge and, uh, and we escaped. We were at the retirement uh, thing. Retirement thing. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, really, once we got in the studio, things started happening. Now, the music has changed a little bit and the boys were a little rusty. So it took us a while to find the right gear. But hey, once we got going, whew, boy, they kicked ass. And it's an awesome song. It's called Balance Slays the Demon. And seriously, I think it's the finest work. And hey, I should know, I produced it. Oh, really? I didn't know you were a producer. Well, this is my first time. I mean, you need to do a little... You know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong. These guys are the best. But it's the 21st century, man. Things can sound a little different these days. They you know, all just sit in there. They make it sound all cool. Kind of jazzed it up. That sounds like a challenge. Oh, no. It's really easy, man. I was just, you know, like, hey, give it a little zing, you know? Let's take it to a level so it really rips. Uh, you know, let's just throw some really sweet synths in. Like that, you know, just kicked it up a notch. But it's totally old gods. Well, listeners, you can judge for yourselves. Here's old gods of Asgard and balance slaves of the demon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this before. People whose integrity has been suborned by the insidious touch of the darkness. He has experienced it himself, but merciful light burned away the darkness in his brain. My right ear's block got worse. I didn't sleep much anymore. My life with Alice seemed like a constant fight. I was a wreck. Alice took steps. She booked a vacation in Bright Falls, a small town in Washington. It was supposed to be a chance to break out of the cycle I was in. She didn't know about the darkness in Cauldron Lake. Good. 
The car seemed to sail through the crisp mountain air in slow motion, spinning around one axis almost lazily. The moment was hypnotic. Then it struck the pipeline in a shower of sparks, the impact turning the windshield into a burst of safety glass. As it hit the ground, I snapped out of my reverie. The car was rolling downhill, slowing down as every bump killed momentum but still coming. The fence wouldn't be enough to stop it. Oh look! Mr. Hero's here! You ready to save the day? It's been two years since I came here. Being that long without Alice breaks my heart, and I know it broke hers. I know she thinks I'm dead. How could I blame her for that? It would be a crime to pretend that she owes me anything. She took all the stupid, self-indulgent bullshit I brought into her life and still stood by me. Still loved me. It's no betrayal. But I'm a better person now than I used to be. I want to be that person with her.
You are gonna shit yourself when you realize what I've done. Shut up! Alice, my wife, the best thing that ever happened to me. She smiles and the darkness lifts. For her, I've tried things I otherwise never would. I've never really minded if it's made me feel like a fool. She's a photographer, and the world she sees through her lenses is unique and beautiful. She has the vision. She sees things others don't and knows how to make them visible to everybody. She did it with me, too. She teased out things I was only vaguely aware of. She always saw me in the best possible light. Okay, I should be able to figure this out. Red lights, green lights. But they have to mean something.
have no idea how badly you're screwed. It's gonna be a blast to watch you find out. Don't wanna get hit by those. Wait, 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 wait! It's so nice in the dark. I can smell you. I can smell you out there. It's not... it's you. Did... did you help me? Looks like you're feeling better now. Yes, I am. 
Thank you so much. I don't know what happened. There was this guy. Before you say anything, I know I look like him, but I'm not. Don't worry. You just don't feel anything like he does. He was in my head. I feel like I need to take 50 showers. Where is he? That asshole wanted to get into the projector booth. He was talking about fixing things so the sun never comes up. God, it didn't seem that weird when he was saying it. It sounded really good at the time. You weren't yourself. The projector booth. That sounds about right. I need to get in there. I have the access code for the door. Here. Thanks. I'm just glad you showed up now. He said he'd be back after he'd arranged for some security. System? I guess it was too much to hope for an alarm and a fat rent account. The Champion of Light can feel the fragment of the signal in his pocket. The weapon that can change what will be. It's incomplete, but it's all he has. Thank you. 
isn't going right. <laughs> You've been up to something, haven't you? Too bad it's not gonna do any good. I'm a better you than you ever will be, and I've got all the time in the world. Everything you've got's going to be mine. Your life. Your wife! <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? The sun's never coming up now. I can keep this up forever! Show yourself! Whatever you say, buddy! <sighs> the rush of darkness is unstoppable. Time itself twists and tears, sweeping the champion of light back with its dark currents. Again he enters the world, but now he sees the trap for what it is, a maze that loops back into itself. 